Greetings everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another Great American Survival. I'm Marvin Ford, and in today's video, we're going to be installing an anchor trolley on my Old Town Sportsman PDL120. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say, well, you got a pedal drive, what do you need an anchor trolley? Well, that is a common mis misunderstanding by a lot of people. Doesn't uh, a, a, a pedal drive is not going to stop you uh, from being blown around. Uh, especially if you're standing and fishing, fishing those um, brush piles or lay downs or whatever it might be, and you really want to focus on those one particular, uh, that one right angle, your anchor trolley is going to make that possible. So if you're new to kayaking or just never installed an anchor trolley, stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so this is our kit. This is how it comes, just like this. Now, do you say lever or do you say lever? I don't know. And this kit is everything. Now, this is not the way the kit comes. They do make a deluxe kit, which has a few more things in it. Uh, you've got yourself your cordage. You got your two pulleys, one for each end. You got your guide, which is going to slide up and down the rope. Um, you got a it comes with a couple of these locking pad eyes that are just awesome. They're much better than the normal pad eyes. But what I needed is I wanted to at least run four, so I bought um, a kit that was just more of these. And I figure I'll use them on other kayaks too. So bought those two, um, and I'm going to be throwing two of them on this, and then that's what makes it a lever. This is the lever locking mechanism. Boom. Also, what you're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver. This is, of course, my handy dandy snap-on screwdriver. Um, you're gonna need an electric drill just to punch some pilot holes. This is a little 16th inch uh, drill bit. And of course, it comes with the instruction manual, which we'll get to. I'm gonna share it with you up front what they do. So here we go. Now the first thing you have to figure out on your kayak is which side you're gonna go with. Now my kayak has a paddle holder on that side further back, which is means for me to install it where I want it, right next to the, you know, pat, my, my seat, I'm going to need it to be on my right side. Now, being that I'm going to do that, it makes, means don't overload your kayak. Don't put a bunch of stuff on the right and a bunch of different stuff on the left because then when you have an accident and you have to get back in your kayak, you're not going to be able to. You're going to have so much crap on your kayak that you're not going to be able to get back in it. And that's just devastating because falling out of your kayak can be a life or death matter, especially if you're not wearing your PFD, which you're just a knucklehead if you don't have your PFD on when you're out in the water in the first place. I mean... You can only do so much, people. So let's show you how I'm gonna set this up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install one of the uh, guide, the pulleys at one end, way back here, because what I wanna be able to do is control the flow of this boat. So if I'm on the water and say I'm dealing with a lot of wind, you can control the, pad, the guide and you slide it all the way to the rear and that will make it where the wind will blow you, the front of the boat is gonna be facing away. So if you're trying to cast in a particular direction and it's not working around, you can slide it to the front and then it'll turn the boat the other direction. Uh, it works especially well in current. Now I plan on using mine in current, so I'm gonna come all the way forward up front and then I'm, I'm gonna make it as far back as I can because I need it to be at the very back of my boat. So let's get started. So at one end of the kayak, you're gonna install one of these pulleys. And these are the stealth pulleys. Really low profile, really smooth, as opposed to using ones like this. And I've installed these on dozens of kayaks. But it allows you where, if, say, you have to come in over the nose of your boat or wherever you're coming in at, you're not going to get hurt going over this. Yeah, you might scratch the crap out of yourself, but that's about it. When you're going with this, you're going to use one of the smaller screws and one of the longer screws. And what I mean by that is it comes with two different length screws. We want the longer screw going through the pulley and the smaller screw going through here. Now each of these I drilled with the 1 16th inch drill bit, like I'll show you here before I mount it. Right there, those two, very cool. Now we'll install the other pulley. When you're running these screws in, don't over tighten. 
Right when it snugs down, stop. Very cool. Nice parallel right here. Now the water line's way down here, but I want it up above this body line so it's out of the way and I don't have to worry about it getting caught. So let's keep going. Next, when you, once we get our cordage, we run our cordage through our pulleys and we have it running down the whole length of our kayak. We see, you see how it's naturally just laying in a particular place? That's what we wanna know. We wanna know where to put this. Now, right in here is where we're gonna put this pulley, uh, the lever lock. Lever lock, yeah, that thing. Um, and one of the things you wanna make sure of, just to the back of this handle, just somewhere right in here, you can install it up, you can install it down. It's new, it's, honestly, it's up to you. But I wanna install it on a flat area and it's not very big. So I just need to install it just like that, but I want it below this body line. So if I have to put my kayak on a roof rack or something like that, I'm not gonna knock the top off and break this and have to replace it. So I want it just below that line where all I have to do is flip it. Now I will say from past experience, put this cord in this before you do this because it is a pain to get back in because I've had to do it. So just a quick tip. Now what this does is by installing this, you see how you can quickly maneuver this and move it? By flipping this, it locks it in place and keeps it from going anywhere. And the one thing I will say about anything you, you get from Yak Attack is their quality of a, you know, this isn't that cheap junky paracord, this is the heavy duty stuff. Uh, stainless steel screws, really well done plastics, very well done. Now we're gonna lay out our pad eyes and see how they look. All right, so as you see, with it installed, that's what we want. We want it nice and low profile, right down the side of this boat. Very nice, very clean. And what this will do is, as I said, you, these little pads, it'll catch it like this. Now we're gonna install the guide. Now this, you'll run your anchor through, you'll use um, your stakeout pole, whatever it might be, it's gonna go through this. So if you get one that's got the smaller ones, you can buy those big stainless steel rings. Those work really well. But this right here is perfect size for my uh, stake out pole and to run anchor cordage through so very cool and what this is going to do is this one you're going to tie off one side and see how it's got a an eye so when you pull it to that one corner it's going to bite it so it doesn't slide so you can make sure it's where you want leave a little bit of extra cordage to adjust uh, to make it where you can tighten it or loosen it if you need to because you never know so, here we go now what we're doing is we want it tight enough to where when we take it off it's got this little cleat and underneath the lever lock, there is a place where it just seats under because this won't go in like this. So it's flat on one side. So it can go pop in there. And when you're transporting it, it'll go. See how all my guides are under? But when you're putting it, sometimes you'll be using your anchor trolley and it's going to pull out like this. You're going to have resistance from wind and rain, uh, current, whatever it might be, it'll be pulling. You want it to give just a little, but you want it to go back. So you want it nice and tight and you want everything underneath these pad eyes, and you want to be able to install this, this lock in there, just like that. But I'm gonna leave this just a long enough cord. I'm gonna leave myself six, maybe eight inches, maybe nine inches, whatever you're comfortable with, and go from there. Now, once you've cut your cordage down, make sure you take a lighter, burn this, all the inner twine, you know, seven strand paracord, 550, you know, heavy duty stuff. You wanna singe it, you wanna melt it down, keep it nice and clean so it doesn't fray take our knife i'm just going to trim off that little extra that we had bam just like that now we're just going to tie this off the simple overhand knot i'm going to put an overhand knot at the end of this just so it doesn't get pulled out once that overhand knot is on there it isn't going to go anywhere and it won't be an issue but i'm going to put one there that i can take out later and loosen it's simple but effective Gotta love it. All right, now it's installed. We've adjusted our cordage, pop this out. And what this allows us to do is lock, unlock it, run this to the front of our boat. I'll show you a diagram to explain how, why you use an anchor trolley and what it's for. And it'll just help break it down. But this thing slides back here and snaps in. Super cool. Such a sleek design. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so I want to show you a quick example. This is a diagram I found online, and it shows you how your trolley works. Now, the little guide I was showing you, the circle in it, allows you to run your anchor, your stakeout pole, whatever it might be, 
off that spot. So say like far right diagram, you see that the, you're going down current, you're fishing and you want to work an area, you're using a drag chain or whatever it might be. It allows you to fish very slowly, or if you want to use an anchor and it stops you, you're fishing a particular area aiming for like bedded fish, whatever it might be. But this allows you to, say like the one right here in the middle, it allows you to go down current and fish parallel. You know, like if you, I don't advise fishing like that, but now in the wind it's great, but with current it's not. You have a big, good, really good chance of flipping. But with current and wind, they both come in handy. It allows you to stay focused and work an area a lot longer than you can if you don't have a trolley. If you just have an anchor running off the back and you're in a weird angle and you can't get there, this is very adjustable. Get out there, play with it, figure out where you're going to put it and where you want it to be and what it's going to do. Because it is a very simple process and it works great. So back to the video. All right, so as you see, super clean, super easy uh, install. Yes, I know a lot of people get intimidated about drilling holes in their boat. Don't be. It's a plastic boat. You can always fix it. You can get a soldering iron and melt this plastic and fill in that hole if you screw up. It's not rocket science, people. Um, it's a plastic boat. And I really think Yak Attack did a great job with this. I've owned several of the other styles. They're basic kits. But this, the, the, this deluxe kit like this is really nice. Really high-end cordage, really nice um, uh, you know, stainless steel screws, really well done plastic pad eyes. The pulleys are smooth. Everything about it is really well done. But Yak Attack makes great products. That's just what you come to expect from them. So I'll put a link down below to them and some of their, all their amazing products at their website. But guys, if you're looking for one and you want one tomorrow or the next day, uh, go over and check it out. They have them at Dick's Sporting Goods, Academy, Bass Pro Shop, Tabela's, things like that are where I've found mine in the past, but I like it. Um, hopefully, if you're new to our channel, guys, we'd love to have you be part of this community. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and get notified every time we post a new video. And guys, make sure you go over and check us out. We're on Facebook and on Instagram, and we would love to get to know each and every one of you, especially if you're new to kayaking and you have some questions, shoot them down below. But have a great week, guys. Make sure you take time to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. Stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon. It's going that way. Let's see if it comes back. That is so awesome. Oh, it's coming right at us. That is so cool. You guys see it? Man, that's awesome.